Hello, paranormal people. Welcome to another awesome episode of Paranormal Theories Exposed. This episode will conclude our coverage of the electromagnetic spectrum. What do we have left? I'm going to tell you. Today we are going to cover the infrared, visible, and ultraviolet light spectrums. Alrighty, so the infrared spectrum ranges from about 750 nanometers to 1000 nanometers and is split into three parts. Far infrared, mid infrared, and near infrared. The lower part of the far infrared spectrum may also be called microwaves. The water in Earth's atmosphere absorbs so strongly in this range that it renders the atmosphere in effect opaque. And what opaque means, it basically means you can't see through it completely, and this is what ruins most shower scenes in movies. I also found this while looking for pictures, and seriously, who doesn't want to own this? Mid-infrared is the infrared most people think of when they hear the word infrared. That cool vision that the Predator has in the movie Predator is what we're talking about here. Hot objects can radiate strongly in this range, and human skin at normal body temperature radiates strongly at the lower end of this region. It's not only technology that can see in this spectrum. Some animals, like snakes, can see in this spectrum. Vipers, pythons, and boas have holes on their faces called pit organs which contain a membrane that can detect infrared radiation from warm bodies up to a meter away. This allows snakes to hunt in complete darkness, which is... Oh, what's it doing? Is that an alligator? This is... Oh. When we get into near-infrared, this range is similar to those for visible light. The highest frequencies in this region can be detected directly by some types of photographic film and by many types of solid-state image sensor, for infrared photography and videography. Now we move above infrared into a frequency that is called visible light. This is obviously what we see. The sun emits its peak power in the visible region, although integrating the entire emission power spectrum through all wavelengths shows that the sun emits slightly more infrared than visible light. The light which excites the human visual system is a very small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. In fact, it is so small that if you unrolled a roll of masking tape across the United States, somewhere in the middle of the country there would be a section that is three inches wide. This small section represents the visible light spectrum. Visible light has a wavelength between 380 nanometers and 760 nanometers. White light, which is in this spectrum, is a combination of lights of different wavelengths in the visible spectrum. Passing white light through a prism splits it up into several colors of light observed in the visible spectrum between 400 nanometers and 780 nanometers. Ultraviolet, or UV, is from 100 to 400 nanometers on the spectrum. The wavelength of UV rays is shorter than the violet end of the visible light spectrum, but longer than X-ray. The sun emits significant UV radiation, about 10% of its total power, including extremely short wavelengths that could potentially destroy most life on land. However, the sun's most damaging UV wavelengths are absorbed by the atmosphere's oxygen, nitrogen, and ozone layer before they can reach the surface. While we can't see UV light, at least 40 different mammalian species can. A list of this includes cattle, reindeer, hedgehogs, dogs, cats, bats, ferrets, and okapis. Other animals that have species that can see in infrared are insects, birds, and fish. Okay, okay. Whew! Science, right? What does all this have to do with paranormal research? Paranormal researchers have been using photography for many years in the hopes to capture a picture of our past on friends. The theory is that ghosts, or spirits, can be viewed through these spectrums. With current technologies, people can easily get their hands on cameras that capture images in infrared, ultraviolet, or full spectrum. These cameras are usually fitted with lights that can emit infrared, ultraviolet, or full spectrum light. This allows the cameras to see in the dark, because why would we investigate during the daytime? This concludes our coverage of the electromagnetic spectrum. As always, thank you all so much for watching. We hope that this information will help you better understand the technology and science behind the light spectrums used in paranormal research. As always, we encourage you to learn as much as you can before you go out on an investigation. It is this accumulation of knowledge that will not only improve your research, but improve the entire paranormal research field as a whole. If you have any questions, post them below. If you have any comments, put those below too. And make sure to check out our other content found at ParanormalWarehouse.com and the YouTube page that you're on right now. As always, thank you again, 
and peace.